How does the pull of force of a magnet affect an object launched by a magnetic linear accelerator? Let's talk about that. We hypothesize that the stronger the pull of force of a magnet, the faster and farther to test our hypothesis, we need to construct a magnetic linear accelerator. To do this, we need powerful magnets, a linear object, and ball bearings. For this experiment, we're going to use three sets of four rare earth neodymium magnets. The most powerful set has a pull force of 28 pounds. The second set has a pull force of 19.5 pounds, and the weakest set has a pull force of 13.5 pounds. Nine steel carbon chrome plated ball bearings will be used as projectiles. Before we begin, let's see how the accelerator works. In a magnetic linear accelerator, a series of powerful magnets are lined up. Two ball bearings are then placed in pairs in front of each magnet. Before the first ball is released, there is potential energy stored up between the ball and the first magnet. Magnetic attraction is present, but the ball is being prevented from reaching the magnet. Once the ball is released, it is drawn to the magnet and potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. Once the ball hits the first magnet, the energy is transferred to the bearing on the other side of the magnet. The first bearing on the other side has enough kinetic energy to send the second one flying off at nearly the same speed. The magnet attraction from the second magnet, along with the energy from the previous impact, causes the speed to increase as the ball impacts the second magnet. The chain reaction continues until the final ball is fired from the accelerator. Now, let's begin the experiment. We'll begin with the strongest set of magnets and run three tests. After three tests, the average distance was 51.4 inches or 1.3 meters. The speed was 1.85 meters per second. For the second set of magnets, the distance and speed drastically decreased. After three tests, the average distance was 8.6 inches or 0.21 meters. The speed was a mere 0.19 meters per second. The weaker set of magnets failed to build up and conserve enough energy to fire the final projectile. After three trials, the average distance was zero. It is evident that the pull force affected the speed and distance of the projectiles. Notwithstanding the relatively even differences between the pull forces of the magnet, the speed and distance decreased drastically with the second set of magnets. In summation, our hypothesis was correct. The stronger the pull force, the faster and farther the object traveled. We believe that the stronger initial magnetic attraction of the more powerful sets and the subsequent impacts caused the object to go farther and faster. 